Do you know how to work with a lambda function? Or do you guys know how to start and stop a EC2 machine with the help of the lambda function? If not, then this video is for you guys. In this video, I'm going to teach you like how to create a lambda function, how to start and stop a EC2 machine with the help of the lambda function. And in this, we are going to, we are also going to use the Python code in order to you know start and stop our EC2 machine. If you are on this channel for the first time, make sure you do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notified of the new videos. Now, not wasting much time, let's start with the demo. So here I am in my EC2 console. So I logged into my AWS account and here I am in Mumbai location. Now here what I am going to do is first I am going to create a machine. So let me create a machine that is the EC2 machine I am going to create. I already have one of the machine which is in running state. So uh, what we can do is we can use this machine for this demo. And if you are not sure like how to create a machine in the AWS, I will give you the link in the description so that you can understand and follow the steps in like how to create a machine in the AWS. So this machine is already created. The next thing which I need to do is I need to create a IAM role. So let me go to the IAM and create a role. So here we have the option to create a group user role. So let me click on the roles directly. Now here I am in my IAM console. So uh, now what I need is I need to create a role. Now what role I need to create? I need to create a role for the Lambda, the role which I can attach to the Lambda function and the role which I can attach to the EC2 machine as well. Okay. So here we need to click on the role and in the AWS services, we need to select the Lambda here. Okay. And if you are not sure like how you will get the other services you can click here and you can search for the other services as well so here you know we have the common use cases for the ec2 and for the lambda so i'm selecting the lambda here next now here we need to attach a policy we can create a custom policy as well because we need to start and stop our machine so it is recommended that we only go with the start and stop permissions but for this demo what i'm doing is i'm giving the complete admin permission but in the production don't do those kind of stuffs i will also also show you like how you can create a, a policy with limited access but for now let me uh, select the admin policy from here so let me search i'm not able to see the admin policy so let me type it here admin admin access i'm selecting that let me click on next here we need to give a name of the role so lambda role ec2 we can give some kind of description and there we have the trusted entity as well where we can read the policy and let me create this thing now my lambda role is created now i was talking about we can also create a custom policy so let's suppose if you need to create a custom policy so how you can do that for that, what you need to do is you need to go to the policies and you need to go to the create policy. Now, once you are in the create policy, you will have two options. One is the visual editor and the other one is the JSON. If you are good in writing the JSON script, you can write your policy here. If not, you can, you know, follow this GUI and create a policy for you. So what I need to do is I need to select these four options. So the first one is create a service from here i need to select the ec2 now in the action what action i need to give stop and start so start so these two permissions i need to give now if you need to explore all the permission you can also do that by clicking on this uh, let me show it to you where you can click Okay, I will show you that option. Now in the resource, you need to specify whether you need to apply this policy for all the resources or to a particular resource. Let's suppose my task is to apply this policy for a particular uh, resource only. So what I can do is I can specify that resource here. So here we need to enter the instance ID. Now from where I will get the instance ID from 
for that I need to go to the EC2 console let me open this one in a new tab now here I am in my EC2 console okay I am in North Virginia that is something I need to change it to Mumbai location now here is the instance ID this is I need to select let me go back to my IAM console specify click here now here it is asking for the region name first so we are where we are in let me go back so we are in this Mumbai location that means AP South 1 so here we need to give that thing AP South 1 if we select any that means it is going to work on all the regions so AP South 1 and here we need to give the account ID so you know automatically it has picked the account ID for me let's suppose you need to attach this policy to a different AWS account then you can mention that account number here now from where to get the account number it's easy you need to go here you need to click your account and here you will get the account number account ID this is unique now let me go back and the instance ID if I'm going to select any then all the machines which are there in the AP South 1 that means all the machine which are there in the Mumbai location this policy is going to apply to all now if I want to restrict I can restrict like this click add then we need to also give the request condition request condition okay uh, let me click on that uh, let's suppose my request should come from a particular IP my request should come from a particular user if I need to specify all those things I need to go with this option if I don't want to specify anything leave that option as blank next here I can give the policy name okay now let's suppose I will give the policy name lambda EC2 limited access okay in the description let me copy paste this thing and create policy now once I have this policy created let me go to the role the role which we have created so lambda role this is the role which we have created now here we can see we are attached with the admin permission so we can delete this permission now so how to delete this permission we can scroll right and there we have the cross button to delete this thing and what we need to do is we need to add permission so here attach policy and we need to search for the policy which we have just created now here is the policy we need to select this thing attach policy we are done okay now let me go to the lambda and in lambda we need to create a function now so let me go to the lambda now here I am in my lambda we just need to make sure of one thing that we are in the Mumbai location only because sometime it happen you are working on a Mumbai location and whenever you are opening a new tab it redirects you to a different region so that is something you need to make sure and how you can make sure of that thing by checking this thing or by checking the URL AP South 1 that is the Mumbai location now how to create a function so this is the lambda console for me now in order to create a function we need to click on the create function now here I have couple of options like we can create a function from a scratch we can have we can use a blueprint we can have a container image we can browse serverless app repository now if you need more detail regarding these all option I have already created the videos uh, in the lambda series so the link is there in the description if you want to know more detail regarding the lambda like how to work with other functions you can always go and watch those videos so that you will get some idea regarding the lambda function okay now here we are selecting from the scratch here we need to give the function name so let me give the function name like ec2 uh, trigger or ec2 task something like that now in the runtime I need to select the python okay now why I am going to select the python because I have a boto3 code which I am going to mention it in the lambda now if you have a code related to any other language you can select that language from here let's suppose you have a code from from java or node so you can select that option as of now I have a code for python so I am going to select the python version 
now architecture we don't need to specify anything here we go with the default option now permission uh, now here we need to attach the role which we have created so the role which we have created that is this role so we need to attach this role okay in the advance we don't have to do anything and let's create a function now the function is created for me now i can see all those things here like code test monitor configuration aliases version again if you need more information on all those things what you can do is you can always refer to my lambda series and you will get all those information okay now here we need to type our code now the code is already with me but i have also copy pasted the code somewhere from somewhere right uh, so let me uh, show you from where i have copy pasted my code so here in the aws um, you know documentation we need to go so aws lambda function to start and stop ec2 instance now this is the documentation from the aws only and here they have mentioned everything like how you can start and stop your ec2 instance at a regular interval using lambda now if i scroll down a bit here we have the code so this code we are going to use this is the python code or rather i would say this is a boto code now if you need more information related to the boto so what you can do is you can always go to the boto 3 python this is the SDK. Now here you will get more detail regarding the Boto. So uh, let me show it to you like quick start Boto. Okay. Now here we need to search for EC2. Right now we need to work with the EC2 service. So let me select that service. Okay. Here we need to click available service. Then EC2. Now here we have the EC2. Let me select. Now here we have all the services for that related to the EC2 like the client, waiter, all those things. If I scroll down, I have all those services available with me. Now let's suppose what I need to do is I need to stop my instance. So if I'm going to search for stop here, I will get that. See, stop instance. Let me click on this thing, stop instance. You will get more detail regarding this, how to use this code now here. Response is client.stop instances and then we need to give the instance id now if you look at the code here it's exactly the same now where we were see ec2 stop instance instance id instances okay it's exactly the same so if you want you can go with the documentation as well for the boto3 and you will get some idea like how this code has been written okay as of now i'm not going to explain the code completely I'm just going to copy paste this code. So let me go to my visual editor. So here I have the code already written with me. Now let me copy this thing. Let me paste it in my lambda function. So where is the lambda? Here it is. Now the first thing which I'm doing, I'm importing the JSON. Why JSON? Because you know, AWS understand that language. So everything, every output we will get in the JSON format only. That is the reason I'm importing the JSON. The next thing which I am importing, I am importing the Boto3. Now you understand what exactly the Boto3, from where the code is coming, Boto3 API, right? And after that, I am giving the region. Now if you are working on any other region, like if you are working on a North Virginia or some other region, then you need to change this region name. So here I am using AP South one Now this is a variable for me. Now I can change this name as well, like I can give my own name, like region on something like that whatever it's my own choice it is not something which is predefined so region is ap south one now here in the instances we need to give the instance id now this is a list if you are already aware of the python code basic python code then you know this is a list so in that means you can give multiple instances here as of now we only have one instance so let me copy that instance Now let me copy this instance, so okay. I have copied the instance, let me go to my lambda function one more time, okay. paste it here. Now if you need to give multiple, then what you need to do is like this, the instance name. If you want to give multiple instances here. As of now I have only single instance, so I will go only with single instance. 
then I am creating a function. Now what exactly this function is doing? This function is for the ec 2 boto 3 dot client. Now from where it is coming? Now if you scroll up, let me click on this client, client as boto 3 dot client. So this is something import boto 3. Now if you see here we are exactly using this thing import boto 3 and then this. Exactly the same thing we are doing. Now ec2 boto 3 dot client and ec2 then we are giving the region name now from where this thing is coming this is coming from here. Now whatever the name I am going to give here I need to mention it here. So this is a kind of a variable key pair variable okay. Now the next is to stop the instance. So instance id so from where this is coming from here. Now here we can type our message um, our code is and then string then the instances now from where this is coming this from here we can also uh, test this code so let me test this code for that let me see my instance is in running state right now let me refresh this thing see it is in running state right now let me test this thing now whenever we need to test we need to give the event name first so let me give our event name my event uh, we don't need to change okay my we don't need to change oh, sorry we don't need to change anything okay why it is doing that okay now it's fine now let me save it and let me deploy this thing my event and deploy test this thing okay now we have the result in null let me go here let me refresh this thing i can see my instance is in the stop state so great there and we can also start our instance as well now here i am using ec2 stop instance if i go to the boto3 documentation and search for start S -T -A -R -T. now here we have the start instances here it says client dot start instances so the only thing we need to change here in the code ac2 stop we need to type start here that's it let me deploy my code i'm not going to test it right now the reason is my machine is still in the process of stopping so it is going to take some time oh it's already stopped that's great so let me test this one now none the result is null let me go here let me refresh it is in pending so that means it is starting this machine 